Okay, good morning everyone. Seeing that um might not be available for training tonight, I thought just to make a different kind of lab guide for you guys to help you out for Valencia this week. So we're gonna have a look through the uh, the lab that I did earlier and I'll try and give you the same information that I normally share on our live training sessions. So <clears throat> Coming up to um, on the start uh, start line, so we'll we'll have a look and see what goes for what. I'll point out the various. And we're going to do it at half speed, so that it gives me enough time just to indicate to you various things. So uh, let's go. So first things first, come down the the start finish straight. You want to position your car across this red and white area on the right hand side here so you lack a weight to be in one wheel on this side one wheel on that side and you want to aim for well when these flags pass your line of sight you that's your braking brake marker so what you want to do here is you just want to grab two gears down uh, on the brakes and then you want to cut this inside corner here. You want to cut this corner here. Um, don't go too far. Don't put your wheels on the grass. But it's important for you to carry a lot of speed through here. So this will take a bit of practice. Just to get the braking done in this zone here. And then make sure the car is stable. So that when you turn in you don't lose it or understeer or anything like that. On the exit of this corner as you'll see now. You want to go nice and wide. This is the only area on this track that the track limits are much more lenient. So you can run all the way over to the green as you'll see now. Um, but you'll have to get back on track. So let's have a look. So we're, we're looking at these flags here on the right hand side. Or this, uh, this white marker that's behind the wiper here. Uh, these yellow trucks if you want. So as soon as you pass that, we'll see now on the, on the replay. So we go. Are we on the brakes yet? Yes, here we start the brakes. So as you can see on the right hand side, here's where I start my braking. So just as these flags start. So you want to, let's slow it down a bit more. So you want to get on the brakes. Down two gears, just get the nose in. Come off the brakes so that the car is nice and stable for the turning and then apply the throttle. And you'll see we'll go out nice and wide here, full throttle here, because that helps to turn the car as well. You can go all the way over here, that's still fine. But you have to get back on track before this curb, this green part ends. So just make sure you get back on track before that green part ends. And then you should be fine. Then still, still one wheel on this side, one wheel on this side, as we head for the brake marker. Now, this track is very nice because it's got these lines all across it. And these are, in many cases, your, your brake markers. So please take note of them as well. So for this one, we are using this, this white line. And you want to be hard on the brakes, but try and get a wide line in and cut this inside of the corner, as you'll see now. Trail braking is of critical importance on Valencia. A lot of corners. If you can do trail braking well, you will do good times in Valencia. So I'll show you the, the, the corners that, that do the trail braking the most. But this is one of them. So you want to be able to drop down a lot of speed while carrying going into a very tight corner. And you want to be able to just, you want to go over the inside. So you're going to brake at this, at this white line here. There we are full on the brakes as we cross that. And now we're going to trail into this corner. You want to take it nice and easy. So get that thing away, down the gears, down the gears, still braking. As we start turning, we start coming off the brakes. Just hold it so that we slow the car in nice. First gear over the edge and as soon as you are turned in, you want to get on the throttle again. Here, don't run too wide. You don't want to go too far to the right because the track limits, this is about your limit that you'll be able to go there. Then you want to cut it back in over this green part. Don't go on the grass though. This is still fine. This is the fastest line. Okay, we are back. So, 
on this corner once you exit there you want to come back to the left hand side once again you're going to use this white line at the edge that'll be your brake marker and here again don't go in too fast into this corner coming up because you want to get the car slowed in and turn in so that you can cut the inside so we're going to go over to the left hand side right at there at that line we break it trail in once again so check the the trailing and you want to you want you need actually to go over this little green part on the inside that's your fastest line to get on the power early don't run too wide on the exit though because it is quite tight on track limits there so we go in trail it in down to second gear over the green part on the inside just hold it and get on the power as soon as you can straighten the car out i got a little loose on the rear end here i had to do a little correction so that's your line there then halfway down this little straight that you are on now will be your brake marker for for the next turn same as the previous one you want to um you want to brake trail it in into second gear and you want to cut or get your wheels on the inside as much as possible and as soon as this green part on the inside ends that's when you want to get back on throttle so here we go we brake down to second gear trail it in coast a little bit wait for that green part to end on the inside and as soon as it does there you see the throttle coming in open the steering so you don't run too wide don't lose the rear over the left hand side this is about as far as you can go and then bring it back to the right now this corner coming up is one that catches out a lot of people i do not use this line as a brake marker i actually go further down about almost halfway between this line and the end of or where the turn is about my brake marker somewhere there same again you want to trail in as the previous two corners you want to trail in and once again cut get your wheels on the inside on that green part so you're going to brake down to second gear you see there's my brake marker halfway down bring it in you want to get a late apex on this one trail it in off the brakes coast a little bit and as soon as you get the apex on the throttle don't run too wide here you can lose the rear you easily lose the rear here and uh, this is about as far outside that you can go so now you want to power down the straight just make it a nice straight line speed it up a bit the straight line and now we get to this corner so this is also one of the difficult corners so there's a white line here that'll be your brake marker in the porsche i stay in fifth but other cars you'll probably be in fifth gear already by the time you get to the brake marker um if it's dry you want to get onto this um onto this curb here on the on the outside to make this as the corner as wide as possible and once again you're going to break trail it in keep it tight get a late apex because you need to get on the throttle early on the exit but also you have to keep the rear in check this is one of the parts where the rear will always want to little step out so we go over this we wait for this line there you see on the brakes as we cross the line hold it hold it hold it trail it in down the gears bring it down to second gear and then as we turn we come off the brake coast a little bit gently on the throttle gently on the throttle because you, you want to be on throttle but you don't want to, to lose the rear so gently on the throttle gently on the throttle push it out all the way wide now we are through full throttle not too wide otherwise you'll incur track limits and just keep just keep your steering lock on don't straighten it up just keep the keep the the weight on the right hand side of the car cut that corner and now we get to this difficult hairpin so what i normally do is just as i passed over this inside curb that's my brake marker and you want to break see if you can break in a straight line towards the the edge of the track on the outside there to bring it in nice and tight on the um on the apex on this very very tight corner it's always running away from you this corner so keep that in mind um in the porsche i i keep it in second gear just to ensure that i don't lose the rear when uh, when you put on the throttle depending on your car it might be slightly different so as you see we go 
over this inside and as soon as we're over it we get full on the brakes brake in a straight line trail it in this is one of the most important trail brake corners so we turn and as we turn the more we turn the more we come off the brake and here we're in second gear and we're already on the throttle cut that inside part straighten the wheel so that we don't lose the rear when uh, when we get to the higher revs and you go all the way to the outside now this this corner catches out a lot of people the one coming up uh, the important part is to get your braking and turning done before the corner so in other words you want to stab on the brake still in a straight line come off it and then 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 coast in um, so that as soon as you are turned in you can get back on the throttle again uh, you're going to come down one gear it is very bumpy um, on this specific lap i actually took a bit more of the curb on the inside that i wanted to but it was still all right so just before this line or at the line you're just going to dab the brakes there we go dab it off the brakes just keep, get the weight on there and as soon as you're over that curb on the throttle that helps to keep the rear in check this was really on the limits and it's a bit bouncy so just make sure that you don't lose the rear i was a bit on the on the wild side going through there i would prefer to be not not that wild and then we gently just drift out to the outside of the track now i'm going to pause it here when we get to this part so here you'll see the um there's a white line there you can either use that as your brake marker i brake a bit later in the porsche round about there um so here you want to once again trail into the corner and again go over the inside green stuff that's what you want so as you can see i still passed it and just after that that's my brake marker brake in a straight line down to second gear where this green stuff ends on the right you turn it in you want to get on, across on this green stuff so that by the time you are through this you can get nice and early on the throttle and that helps to bring the car around we're still luckily in track limits there only just i think and then it's a run to the line And that's it and that was a 30.6 so um let me just go back a bit so just speaking of the pits the pit entry is as you come in you'll see this little orange marker here that is your brake marker so as you come to that orange orange barrier here on the inside let's just slow it down get there so as just before this orange barrier here on the on the pit entrance that is your brake marker so now i'm gonna just rewind this for you a bit and then we'll play it in full speed so you can see everything that we just discussed in real time okay so tips on the start finish line get us far right as possible we're going to wait for those flags as soon as we do two gears down coast it in as soon as you feel the nose grip get on the throttle back on track brake hard trail it in cut the inside get early on the throttle here don't go too wide or you lose lose the, the time cut the inside here over to the left brake cut the inside on this side early on the throttle Brake, cut the inside on this one, early on the throttle as well, that helps to bring the car around. Just after that white line, brake, trail it in, get on the throttle early, be careful that not to lose the rear on the exit there. Then just straight line it, here we're going to get across the curve on the outside, brake, trail it in, second gear, be patient with the throttle here, otherwise we will lose the rear. Keep the steering lock over the inside as we pass this hard on the brakes trail it in this is probably one of the most important trail braking corners just be gentle with your inputs feel the car underneath you just before the line brake turning coast as soon as we are across that that was very bumpy drift out to the outside just after the white line brake in a straight line as soon as we're down to second gear bring it in 
and across the line. So hopefully this helps boys. See you on the track.